Hey, welcome back. More Genshin. Uh, I got a couple updates since last time. Um, in between the last stream and this one, let me first get the sound effects up. Um, in between the last stream and this one, uh, my computer blue screened and uh, wouldn't start up again. I can't believe Ron broke everything. <laughs> uh, and Ron, you helped me um, over Discord to suggest taking out the, the RAM sticks one by one and putting them in the place. And since then, it hasn't crashed since removing the one. It didn't reset in the middle of the night and it hasn't done anything yet. I'm still going to wait like another day. And if nothing goes wrong, then I'll know that the RAM stick is the only problem. Uh, and then we can, I can do the, the refund and replacement and buy the new different brand of RAM stick. Because uh, all the reviews I was seeing on this specific brand kind of has like, a, oh, one arrived dead on arrival or both arrived dead or it worked for a month and it went dead. So I'm just going to go with a different brand. If, ever, if everything runs smoothly for a while. Uh, car was still in the shop today. They still couldn't figure out the problem. It's just too intermittent. So I'm going to have to just pick it up tonight and uh, drive it around until the problem isn't as intermittent or it breaks down or it, um, or it just magically goes away. One of those three things with the car. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to continue doing some of the uh, the story stuff. Right, that's a thing we can't get to. I was noticing off stream that the game was having a couple um, frame hitches here and there. That might be due to lack of, you know, a RAM stick being in there just in just the one or just this new region uh, could be giving some issues okay, I need to just the regular there we go but yeah I'm I'm, I'm just wanting this car and computer shit behind me because it's been expensive and time-consuming and stressful. Was this that touch grass puzzle? Yeah, it is. Solicited, and all the more valuable for it. Uh, what we got? Nurseries in the wild. So these seemingly masterless nurseries may be found within the forest of Sumeru. Sumeru. Follow the glowing spirit to float over these nurseries and traverse each field without interruption or repetition, and perhaps something good will happen. In truth, it isn't good to step on fields, but your footsteps seem to be able to awaken the life of this plot of land. Okay. Rosie, where are you, Rosie? Someone's oh. calling for Rosie over there. This is the, uh, the reason I'm here. Oh, Rosie, thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Is this like a Samwise um, voice? Were you in danger? Did the wild beast scare you? Did the stars guide your way? I heard it like a twinge of Mr. Frodo. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, 
all thanks to their help. Maybe because he was like, um, in distress. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold hearted Spino crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. <clears throat> Spino, what? Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I. Uh, I love them too. Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Hmm. Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's... <laughs> uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. She's a granny. Wow. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey, Kale. Are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. You've been tasked with seeking your help. Yep, I'm the Aura Giant and she's the Aura Finch. Ah, excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. Has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Pino's not a finch. It's <laughs> nothing to get excited about. Let's put the jokes aside and get down to business. Tell Tanger about the situation. A car crafts. A car crafts. Right. They made that ugly-looking Oranara statue. Oh. Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Parman has no idea what he's saying. He was, he forgot about it because he had too many things on his mind. What should we do? Me neither. Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Wait a minute. Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Aranara Crafts learn more about Aranara, right? Yep. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest. Conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos. Uh, mm. Um, I haven't written any papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanjir never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. Hmm. Wait, not that way. Is he gonna drag it out? Kale, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Hmm, maybe that's the secret Razi was keeping. 
His father's a fucking dolt. Hello? Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Hyman's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Paimon's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Follow the Aranara's trail. Hey, look! There's a note here! Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh... The handwriting's so hard to read! It's too hard! I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, <laughs> do Aranara need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R and R from the stories would say. Or somebody high on mushrooms. There's another one here. Hmm. If only I were a clever Aranara. A clever Aranara. Is the emphasis on clever or Aranara? Hmm, if only I were a clever Aranara. Or oh, if only I were a clever Aranara. Hmm. How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? They look like messages left by children. Uh, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lonely tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. Mm. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Unless... Razi was the one. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Not at all. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway... It has nothing to do with me, so... Unless it was Kalei leaving these notes. Are you, are you... Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Mm -hmm. Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Overwhelming. Heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, yes. Y yes. Overwhelming. Disappointing. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In Aranara and the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Aranara and the... Ill Little Fungus? If it was three, the all eyes would be capitalized, but that says I-L-L. -L. 
I think she... <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I think the the line that she was reading said ill, but she read it as like a Roman numeral three. Or the actual line was three little fungus and the person who typed it up in the game put ill. Either way, it's a mistake. Oh, was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. What's wrong? It's not the Aranara. It's Kale. She's gone. Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Aranara activity, she's been acting kind of strange. I noticed that too. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? So Kale came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. Mm. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm, what do I do now? Dress up as an Aranara? Oh, no, 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 that mm -hmm. won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so the Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. <laughs> oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of r and r activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. But why didn't she just tell Tanja? Perhaps that's her secret. Oh, right. She's always angry. Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Kali must have her reasons. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Hello? Hey, Leaps. Uh, to fill you in on what happened, we, uh... Brought Razi to his father. Um, his father was researching Aranara activity, which turned out to be Kale's messy handwriting, which he mistake it for uh, Aranara stuff. She was just practicing handwriting, and she felt embarrassed. And now she wrote a new note, and hopefully he sees it as non magical fey creature. Let's see what it says. And just like random person. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Uh, I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, that, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an r, &R No. No, I refuse to believe it. Uh-huh. Despite his denial, Tanjir falls into deep silence when faced by the facts. Please help, Akara Crafts. I can't. What do you mean you 
can't. It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. I believe in you, Tonger. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an r and &R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R&R, &R, right? What makes this so different? Literally, we have seen an R&R. &R. I... Uh... Let us help. Rosie, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. <clears throat> I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Yep, I do. I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So... I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then... Mm. Who was it? Uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. I mean, that makes sense. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night... Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me... Tanja's son instead of Rosie. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling, like that request from Akar Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R &R to look like a secret. Wait, Paimon gets it now. To sum up, all of Uncle Tanger's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rosie. Yep. And because Rosie didn't want Tanger to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Give me one sec. Let's uh, untangle the wire here.
Sorry, I'm just. Eh. Okay. Sorry, I had to unplug uh, the USB and the headphone wire. There's two different wires that plug into the PC and they, they get tangled, even though I don't really do anything with the thing of the, the headset other than take it off and put it on. I don't, like, twirl it around or anything. It just happens so often. Anyway. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown. As always. And not even a funny one. A sad clown. Those can be funny. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. Hmm. And I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? It's up to Rosie. You want me to help Akara Kraus with their carving? Well, I did mention what the R&R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before, this is my first time in Gandharvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my r, &R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an r, &R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on. You're the best dad ever. I've seen better. Uh, this is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, <clears throat> Ale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah. It's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Mm hmm. Uh, um. I just. Uh. Just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. Akara Crafts is waiting for us. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, Dad. Razi, slow down and watch your step. Looks like everyone's in good spirits. Let's catch up with them. Yeah! For the rewards. You'll discover all sorts of new and fascinating things while exploring Smeru. So why not use an exquisitely crafted camera to record them down? While using the camera, if the viewfinder has objects worth keeping a record of in view, the camera will display information related to them. Adjust your photo taking distance and camera zoom to more easily spot these designed photo designated photo targets. Also, this camera can only be used in some arrow. What? The 20th anniversary of Akara Grass is coming up! Paimon wonders what the children thought of the R&R carvings we helped create. Let's go check it out! Well, first of all... 
This is the third fucking camera we have. Ow. So this is just a normal camera. This camera can add filters, and then this camera is limited time only. Hmm. Okay. Uh So in this tutorial image, it had a picture of the, one of them tiger things. Oh my goodness. This is a whole event. I didn't realize this is a fucking event. Well, I guess we'll do it, right? Roaming the jungle. What the fuck? I thought this was just to unlock Kale and that was it. But it's a whole... This is an event. Okay. Take two pictures of two different animals found in Sumeru. Three different. Four different. Okay. Um, what's number two? Trilakshana creatures activated. Scorched. Activated, normal, and scorched. Okay. Oh. Shaggy Sumter beats while they are eating, resting, and attacking. Take pictures of spino crocodiles while they're attacking, resting by the shores, and opening their mouths in water. Oh, these. Interesting. Beautiful fairy tales are hard to come by if only one relies on sheer imagination. And breathtaking adventure stories are often inspired by memorable experiences. Following the same logic, why not take a stroll in the vast forest? For something worth remembering must be waiting for you there. Oh my god. Destroy one waxing stamen, waning stamen. Electro regis vine. Prevent its two stamens from unleashing electrical explosion. So we have to fight these bosses. Okay. Oh my god, there, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how much of this I'll be doing on stream. Over the broken bridge challenge? Down the lone path. Landing magpie, leaping tiger against the flow of the moon. What are these things? Oh my god. They're all these little... The, okay, this is definitely something I'll check out a little bit on the stream and do the rest off stream because this is a lot And I don't think there's any story to it Although where do you want to where do you want to go next? Um, where I want to go next First of all What are these things? To see Leo and his torch. Okay. Assemble one complete R and R carving. We get R and R carvings? Permanent for our We get to make our own little Aranara. Is this kind of like the snowman? Is this like the snowman event, but just in Sumeru? Event shop. Yep. And then these are the actual rewards. Uh, for doing the event. Big ones are up here. 
Wait a minute. I'm sorry. 60 times 5. That's 300 Primo Gems? So we're at, well, we're at we're 300. That's two, a little over two wishes. Okay. Um, so yeah, what we will do is do this quest. I have a few references. Check a little bit out of what the uh, the event has to offer, like one of each of the events. See if they're worth uh, going into entirely. Probably not. I'll do the bosses. I'll do the bosses, I'll do one of each, and then we'll just move on with the story. And I'll do... basically the grindy, the rest of the stuff, off stream. Give me something to do. And also not waste uh, time doing the same thing over and over and over again. Kind of like I, what I did with the two streams ago, which was uh, just doing the treasure chest thing over and over again, because I had to do it. But it was also my first impression of Samaru, so I had to do it on stream. So there's that as well. Oh, I got the same one again. When will I get the chubby, squishy one? <clears throat> I guess I'll just have to save up my allowance and get them all. Huh? I thought you came here every day. Have you still not collected them all yet? You should have gotten them as a set. That way, you get seven different designs at once. But then there's no surprise. Surprises are boring. I want to have every design there is. That's what you do when you really love something. I finally saved up enough to buy this set today. Oh, I'm very sorry, but... The one Cassit bought was our very last carving. We're out of stock today. But we're working on expanding our team, so please check back tomorrow. Fine, I'll come back tomorrow. Hm. Just so you know, R&R carvings are more than just stock. Yeah! <laughs> all right, all right, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Lily. <clears throat> our R&R carvings have sold out for today. Sold out? Oh no! I was gonna buy one for my cousin who's visiting tomorrow. Hey, how about this? You live near Bronte's house, right? We'll deliver the new carvings to you first thing tomorrow. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Fies! Don't forget, okay? I promise. Akara Crafts would never let down a child. Ah! More customers. Uh, sorry, our Aranara carvings have... Uh... Oh, hey! It's you guys! Thank you so much for your help. We've been planning on visiting you to express our gratitude, but as you can see, our store's been really busy. If it weren't for you, the store's anniversary might have been a different story. Looks like the Aranara are really popular. It's all thanks to Rossi. He has so much creativity at such a young age. Oh, and we would like you to have the prototype <laughs> Aranara as a small token of appreciation. You just didn't want to throw it away yourself. Whoa, wait. This looks kind of... Mind-blowing. Uh, right! Mind-blowing! <laughs> it has a very, uh, mysterious feel. Um, we appreciate your thought, but... Give us some time to decide if we want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> now that the toy maker's problems are resolved, let's visit Tondra and Rosie. The RNR father owned up to his mistake and was forgiven by his RNR son. Hmm. I think everyone will like how the story goes. But the reason the father owned up to his mistake was too simple. Perhaps we could make them go through some kind of hardship together. I'm sure they'll become more understanding of each other that way. The r and father will feel guilty after seeing his son work hard. Hmm. When the r and father starts feeling guilty, should he speak more slowly or more quickly? That depends on the r and son. It would be interesting to hear them speak at different paces. Hey, Tondra and Rosie. What's you up to? Br brainstorming. Dad and I are just discussing our latest story. I'll be the one telling the story this time. But I'm a little nervous about telling a story in front of so many people. That's why I'm asking Dad for advice. Oh, Sumeru's gonna have a new young storyteller! 
If it weren't for you, Rosie would surely have left me for good. Paimon's so glad everything worked out. But there's still something that doesn't quite add up. Oh, what is it? Do you need help investigating something? Why would a monster leave a note in a tree hollow deep in the Avidia forest? Mm -hmm. I... I thought we moved on from this topic. Um, it was just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. A lot of people <laughs> write down their secrets and hide them in tree hollows. It's not a big deal at all. Kali looks frust kind of flustered all of a sudden. Sorry, I'm so quiet in the midst of putting away cards. No problem. I have my secrets and troubles too. And I tell them the tree hollows. But seeing Rosie and Kanja has given me an idea. Traveler, could you be my tree hollow? It'd be my pleasure. You can obtain whimsical drafts from snapshot challenges. Give whimsical drafts and resources to the craftsperson at Akara Crafts to obtain carving components. The woodland stand can be used to mount multiple r, &R wood carvings simultaneously. Interact with the stand to place unlocked wood carving trunks and then mount other components on them. There is a limit to the number of carvings that can be displayed, though this number will increase as the event progresses. The types of carving components include trunks, heads, hats, shawls, and eyes. You must set a trunk first before you can set a head. The head must be... Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just like the snowman event that we did way back. Complete several r, r wood carvings to obtain corresponding rewards. During the event and after it ends, you can even bring woodland stand and carving components that you've obtained into your serenity pot. Continue to make r, &R wood carvings there. Just like the, st the snowman event. Is there more story? And also, I know you're saying Aranara, but I keep hearing Aranara. That definitely has been, um... <laughs> I've seen that on Twitter. Boat, son. Okay, so... Let's start with... Picture taking. Let's go find some animals to take pictures of. Paid for transferring commodity. Yes, we know about boats. Jung Lake. Please. I keep thinking of Marinara. It's missing the M. At the very beginning. Marinara. Books are made for reading. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I didn't get that little thing. Okay. First, let's grab a picture of one of these guys. Yeah, and that bird, maybe. And zoom in. Dusk bird. Kachik. Okay. Sumter Beast resting. Gotcha. This Pokemon snap now. Picture already taken, but it's doing a different thing. It's not resting. What if I do this? Uh, nothing to fit stabilize. Let's get away from it so it doesn't hurt it anymore. Don't don't die over there. Come here. Him. That's fine. It ran away. Okay. Was that a different bird? These are birds that are also in other regions, so it doesn't count. All right, let's find some um, mushroom fellas. First of all, I know where a couple are. And this is also where a boss is. So let's fight the boss, and then we'll uh, maybe take a picture of some mushrooms. This I fought off stream, 
to get some uh to use my resin to get some uh dendro materials hello Ow. oh you don't count Where are you going? Oh. Still have Diona in the party because I had to do an archery thing off stream. Uh, let's put Bennett back in there. Gonna be epic. Okay, so. Uh, try Lakshana creature in normal. Bop. Okay. Burn it. Scorched. Let's grab that. There's got to be another one around here, right? Yeah, right there. Shine down. Activated. We mean can't use in current state. All right. Okay, where are we at with the pictures? Okay, two different animals. It's nice. I need to find two more animal pictures. Um, okay. All right, so I need to find the big mushrooms. And then maybe uh mushroom creatures as well. Don't forget to hydrate. Yep. Sumter Beast. Eating, resting, attacking. So I need to find one that's eating. We also need to find Spino Crocodiles, which I've not seen one. Tacking, washing their faces, sitting, and playing with their tails. I, I saw a picture on Twitter. It must be related to this event, but it was like Rambo. And he's like screaming, but he's holding a camera as like a, the tiger creatures are attacking him. Like this is the current event in a nutshell. I wonder if this thing counts as a creature. So I'll see if I get closer. It would definitely be on there by now. Okay. I guess we'll just kill it. Is order solidified as one with wind and cloud into the wind. Inazuma shines eternal, illusion shattered. Get out of here! Gather, there is no escape. The wind knows me. I'm going in. Order guide you. One with nature. Scree! No, yeah, there you go. Might as well use the resin for these things. The emerald whatevers. Now there is stuff below us. How many times do I need to fight this thing? For the... Defeat an activated Jade Plume Terror Shroom after it is rendered stunned from exhaustion. Oh, I actually need to let it activate. I killed it too quick. Whoops. Okay, hold on. It's one of those star shrooms. What about... These guys don't count? None of these count, huh? Thought for sure that one of these mushroom creatures would count. Just another star shroom. 
Okay. Well, this ain't happening. Uh, let's go to the electro thing and fight that. We don't need to get the rewards from it, but, um... We'll kill it, nonetheless. I need to look at the... Ex what it wants me to do, though. What was the, uh... Oh. Oh, I already did these. It's retroactive. Cool. We don't need to do this, then. Right, I just need to let it activate. Any of these retroactive? Just got the camera, so that's not going to be. And these are like the different challenges. Okay. Let's try to find some of them tiger fellas. I think I know where some are. Um, I remember them being on a path near pathway. Oh, geez, where was it actually? It's kind of near going up this way, I thought. Like, maybe here-ish? Like, along this path? Oh, wait. Does this count as one of the things? No. Damn. I also still don't know where to find one of them crocodiles. I would have thought in the swamp, but we explored that a little bit. On, when I was playing on the PS4. Oh! Speak of the devil. I'm just gonna stay far away for now. Spino Crocodile. This must be the creature that um, Sapphire was talking about. Needed to fill its mouth with water? Was the, uh... Yeah, Sapphire's favorite dinosaur is the, uh... The Spinosaurus. Resting. Gotcha. Picture taking done. Really? I didn't say I was done, but... Okay. Got three different ones, so we just need one more. Okay, spinal crocodiles attacking, resting by the shores, or and opening their mouths in water. Like swimming in water? Do they swim? Unlike most enemies in this game? Parrots. Resting, resting, yeah. Well, I know how to get one of these pictures. Attacking?
Donk. Alright, opening its mouth in water. Right? Yeah? Come on. That's it swimming. So they definitely swim. Let me get in the water then. Swim, please. Come on. You're now swimming. I'll save that picture. Hey! I might just need to find some swimming around naturally. Like this one. Time to run and escape. Run escape. Runescape's, uh... That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Got it! Wait a minute. Is there a bird? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll save that. Okay, so that's, um, that. That's cool. I like the wildlife stuff. Attacking, resting by the shores, and opening their mouths in water. Did I not get a picture of it attacking? Yes, yeah, like Pokemon Snap. I could have sworn I took a picture of it after provoking this shit. Solidify. Shield up. Poke. I think that counted. Nice. Um, so I need to find a picture of the Sumter Beast eating. And then... Rishbaland. I think those might be the mini-raptors. Okay, well, let's just move. Maybe we'll run into some. Either Sumter Beasts or... the whatevers. You know, instead of exploring randomly, we can go to one of these, um... One of these events here. Let's go to this one here. Because maybe we'll find one along the way and we can come back to it. Alright, let's hop down. This looks to be a uh, gliding challenge. Or a race to collect particles or some shit. Coins. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Number of coins at the end. Touch them to pull in adventure coins within a certain AoE. Oh. Here we go. Like this? What was that? Oh. This could use some race music, I'm being honest. Oh, there's goo! <laughs> Shit. Is this not a wind current? Picking me up? Yeah. Oh, it only gets me up to there. That's fun. Okay, it's all about the coins. Oh, and that's the end. Had to blow it at the end of that. Uh, I guess we got a gold medal. 
because it's about the coins. Okay. Right, and there's a bunch of these challenges. Wow, we're getting a lot of primos. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Uh, and this gives you those little books. We can go back to the raptor and try to fully activate them. Did you see any, uh, mini raptors? Oh, pigs. Mushroom pigs. Shroom boar. Okay, so now what is... What do we need from the shroom boar? Ah. That was just the fourth, uh... Sumeru, um, exclusive creature. Cool, that's done. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. need more flora. Okay. More flora, need to find a sumter beast eating. Rishbalans. Oh, maybe it's the, um, the tigers. It's the tigers. Okay, well first let's do the raptor boss one more time and fully activate it. I think you've activated it with Electro. Which means I and you deactivate it, but you like reset their bar by using fire. So I have to just not use Bennett until it's fully activated. Then get it down to a fraction of a health bar and then kill it when it's exhausted. So let's do this. Illusion shattered, torn to oblivion. Shine down. Okay. I will have order. Stabilize. Clouds high. The birds call. The wind knows me. Everybody stand back. Inazuma shines eternal. I think they counted. Grab another one of these, why not? Uh, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be a harder boss, because it's really like a pushover. Well, we did it. Okay, so now there's these challenges, which I could do more of, which is coin collecting. That's fine, I'm not going to do that on stream. Let's do one of these. Okay. I'm going to set that as a marker, go here, get that teleport, then go south to the, the challenge. Just to see what the challenge is, it might just be battle-focused. And if it's like grindy battle-focused, I'm not going to bother doing all of them on stream. And we'll keep an eye out for tigers. Oh? What's this? Well, first off, there's a... Braving the Elements. In the Braving the Elements challenge, when characters are on the field, trigger Quicken, Aggravate, Spread Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon, or Burning Reaction to unleash a Sock Wave at the point where the reaction takes place, doing true damage. Especially can be tr triggered once. So just do reactions. There. Okay. Where is this, um... There it is. Hiding in a tree trunk. But first, there's a little blue quest here. Wind Strider. He's just a... A new job. Solidify! Into the wind! Is the new job being dead? Okay, there's some to beasts here, but I don't know if it's eating. I think it's resting. This is also a, um... It's a Fatui and the Aramites. Pyro wonders what they're doing. They must be doing some under-the-table deal! Let's fucking kill all of them! Let's light it up. 
your guide you. As one with wind and cloud. I follow the wind. The wind knows me. Time to go. Stabilize. Shine down. You need to hurry up. One with nature. This one's well done. Okay, let's just burst on him because I don't have water to deal with him. Now you shall perish. Illusion shattered. Unfortunate fault. So that was just a random event world quest thing that pops up. All right. Are you going to turn on? Yes, you are. I think I've actually fought you when I was playing on the PS4. Get out of here. Out of the way. There is no escape. The wind knows me. Everybody stand up. This is order. Solidify. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Didn't even have to use uh, Raiden's burst. I think uh, you might be able to go back to an old, old stream, but when I was exploring Dragon Spine, and it took me like a hot second to kill one of those things, because I think I was using like, Amber at the time. That's how like long ago that was. Because I didn't have a pyro character, and I needed a fire character for the mountains. Boy. I remember, like, it kept resetting. It was a boss, technically. And it kept, like, walking... I kept walking a certain distance away, and it would reset its entire health bar. I was getting annoyed at it. Because I was kind of cheesing it, but it wasn't, like, Omega Cheese. Like, where's this thing? Straight up? It is definitely straight up there. Okay. Okay, that's the little mini raptor thing I was talking about. It's not that. It's definitely the, uh, the tigers we're looking for. Quake! Grumble! Rise! Wait a minute, huh? So, so far, anytime I've seen one of these, there's been a, um... A little stump with dendro element nearby. And you can do, like, a charge attack to throw one of the particles at it. This might be the first one I've seen so far that doesn't have that, and they're like, Alright! Use a dendro character. And the only one I have at the moment is Kale. She's level 20. Training for Forest Ranger Kale, reporting. That's still a problem then. Okay. Bonk. Um. Maybe there's one another one up there. Okay. Follow the wind. Time that badly. Need to wait another half second. Okay, there's the Oculus. Guess we'll grab that. Yeah. yeah, let's look for another. There it is. Yep. Shoot that one, then probably shoot that one. Oh, 
replenish your supplies often when you're out in the wild. All right, back in the box. I'm really hoping that the uh you, you want me on your team? Sure. I'm really hoping that um the new Dendro Archon is good so that I can put her on the team and possibly replace Bennett. Speaking of that line of dialogue, um it'd be great if that if she was focused on uh attack and healing buffs. Like just just, just be a straight replacement for Bennett. That's what I- that's my hope, is that that's what the Dendro Archon's uh, kit is going to be. There's nothing suggesting that. It's just what I hope. Into the wind. Okay. But yeah, like, if I was designing what her kit would be, I would say she has a water dash, like Mona, except that's not water. It's like flowers. So when she's, like, dashing around, she turns into, like, flowers blooming on the ground, sort of like Okami dashing. Time to go. Um, her elemental skill would be like Zhongli. Bomp. But instead of that, it'd be a tree that deals, um, or provides, a. Uh, Attack buff. Or healing buff. Or it provides dendro damage, and then her burst is just Bennett, but dendro. That's my hope. That's ideal dendro archon for me. Because it would take Bennett off the team, give me the dendro element, and uh, yeah. Also have three archons on the team. But we haven't even seen a leak of her gameplay yet, so I have no idea what she's all about. Gather. Shine down. The wind knows me. Just get deleted, I guess. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Let's light it up. One with nature. There is no escape. Time to go. The wind smells. That's all the challenges? Just fighting a bunch of mushrooms? Thieves and cells. Oh, so this is fighting mushrooms, this is fighting thieves, this is fighting... other things, and this is fighting other things. That's all, folks. So, basically, take that thing we just did, and times that by 20. And that's what that event is. We're not doing that on stream. Hope it's not as confusing for you as finding a new element in Honkai was for me. They added IMG, which I can only assume means image, to counter the void element. Hmm. Well, Dendro, I kind of understand. It's not fully self-explanatory. It just seems to have a beneficial damage reaction with... Electro and Pyro and Water. It just seems to sort of have a reaction with everything. Like, Pyro, like, makes it burn. Um, Electro makes Shine it down. activate, which is just, it does an extra, like, it doubles the damage. Uh, Geo provides a Dendro shield. I think Animo just swirls the Dendro damage. I could be wrong about that. Or it does nothing. Water does bloom, I think. Um, cryo does something else. I think what it boils down to is it will do more damage if you combine Dendro with another element. So it's it's almost like an attack buff. 
in, in general by having it in the team. So I'm going to get that Dendro Particle after doing this uh, Withering Zone. There it is. Give me, give me, give me. Not the thing I was aiming for. Holy shit. Gather. Everybody stand back. Illusion shattered. Order guide you. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. Inazuma shines eternal. Oh, we released that thing and now it's going away. Good. Gotcha. Shine down. Let's light it into the wind. I'm going in. Okay. Let's continue this. Uh, grab that. Poke this. And poke this. And then there's this one over here as well. Solidify. Okay. Time to go. That's a new monster. The Ruined Drake, Earth Guard. Ruined machine that can absorb energy and hurl it back at as an attack. Ruined Drake Earth Guard can periodically release a danger at torrent or increase its own elemental resistance against previous I think this is the same one except it's the same as the flying one, except it's on the ground. Yep. Okay. Let's actually fight now. The wind knows. This is order. Clouds high. The birds call. Illusion shattered. Now you shall perish. Cure. Everybody stand back. Into the wind. One of these things? Alright, let's kill this thing. I have to press B on it. I'm like, yeah, just do it the way I did the other ones. Brings a smile to my face. Nice. Sumeru investigation team's note. Someone seems to have burnt the contents in a hurry. Only a few words remain legible now. Thank goodness Zandik reacted quickly. Otherwise, the whole team would be in serious trouble. The terrifying killing machine has stopped. Zandik insisted on bringing it back to the Academia to be disassembled and reverse-engineered. That was absolutely ridiculous. Sage Sh Sh Sharnama reprimanded him and removed him from the author list. We buried Dostrasore and sent the wounded back. Looks like this field research has come to an end. Huh. So it seems like they were researching... The, uh, the Ruin Guard things. Crumble. Oh, I'm supposed to use the fucking spring to get to this. It's fine. It's fine. You have to activate the spring with, uh, Electro. Lost energy block.
Also, we got this at one point. Vazmurdi. Yeah, this from the nursery. Okay, blocks. You can act, seemingly use it to activate the recording devices of some ancient constructs. Okay. All right, so we released that this guy from like that that stone prison. So now we're following him. Don't do it. Okay, that's a mushroom I need to take a picture of. Hold on. Stabilize. Come this way. If you're gonna fight, come and fight. I just don't want to do it near that mushroom. The wind knows me. Alright, and it looks like you're gonna be also staying over here. Adventure time! Okay, so we'll take a picture of the mushroom on its own. Okay, then we'll try activating over here because there's another mushroom I'm seeing. Activated. Can I do this now? How about this? Taking done. Uh, ba -ba. Right. These are not the pictures I took, but that's fine. Yeah, these aren't the pictures I took. <laughs> okay, so we need to find one more type of... Maybe the, uh... The springy mushrooms? Hold on. Springy mushroom might be the last one. Because they can... Left for now, current... Progress saved. Yes, this is one of them. There is no escape. Activated. So we'll, we'll use it. Okay, now we'll scorch it. So don't scorch these. Gotcha. I think that's... All the flora. Okay. Nice. So we're looking for eating Sumter Beasts and three different things of the tigers. Okay. Progress saved. Can I actually... I'm not doing a challenge. I'm chasing... Where did he go? Oh, there it is. Hold up. Um... I know where he is now. Um, let me do this real quick. One man's stone right. is another man's gem. Shine down. Let's light it up. One with nature. Solidify. There is no escape. The wind knows me. Oh, wait, this is a different fungal. Okay, I'm doing the challenge now, I guess. Nature. 
Please use that. Do I get rewards for that one as well? For every single one? Yeah, it's part two. Okay, we're not doing any more of those. We're officially looking for a Sumter Beast that's eating and some tigers and also whatever this guy is doing. Here, I thought this stream was going to be mostly story. Oh, it needs three of these things. Okay, interesting. Let me out. Illusion shattered. Let's light it up. The wind knows me. Kazuha got me out of that gym, literally. Shine down. Stabilize. Into the wind. A fateful offering. Ragged attendance record. Trainee Daster Zandik has acted without authorization for the third time. It brings unpredictable risk to the investigation team. Punishment is advised. Daster Sore of a, a murder biology has been critically injured under the attack of Rishbolan tigers. So they are tigers. You need a first aid. They actually mute the thing when you're reading. There's a lost energy block. I need one more of these things. Okay, hold on. Look for another campsite nearby. You might be able to reactivate this ruin guard. If we can find, like, a sparkle... ...nearby. Lizard? It was just a... Yeah, it was a lizard. Uh, so there was one up there. There was one next to that ruin guard. Are these actually on the map? No, I'm not I'm not seeing this giant cog on the map. Okay. Or the tents. There's some tents down there, but I think that's actual like civilization and not Hmm. I don't think that's where the last piece would be. Maybe up here? Let me just get a bird's eye. Okay, there was that one. And then there was... What was it? Yeah, that tent there. This tent here. Maybe further down this trail? Wait a minute, this wasn't here before, was it? It's not one of these mushroom challenges. No, 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 we're not doing this right now. Oh, that guy might have been eating. Ah! Hold oh, up, this might be... Solidify! You asked for it. You literally asked for it. I was just minding my business. Okay, this is where this trail ends, so it's not this way. Maybe we can try going the other way. Hey, look, a distraction! Yeah, this whole region is that. I'm trying not to get super, super distracted from what I'm trying to do. But, um... Kind of hard to not. Yeah, everybody come here. Stabilize! 
disintegrate. Into the wind. Gather. Illusion shattered. Everybody come here. One with nature. The wind knows me. Shine down. Okay. Now, yeah, we followed the pathway here, but I think that was actually off the path a little bit. We could release that dude. This one was also off the path, though, so... Kind of makes sense. Let's go the other direction, though. Wait a minute, those guys weren't there before. Hey, I cleared this camp! Like, not but a few minutes ago. You already here? Causing trouble? Eesh. Sumero investigation team's note. Right. Yeah, th these were not here earlier. Maybe because it was, like, um, under the withering effect. Alright, so we'll follow the path this way. See if it branches off and do a different campsite. Something like that. Hello. Oh. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Huh? Solidify. Shine down. Okay, you didn't have a piece. Just looking for shinies at this point. The last two have been near campsites. There's a fence here, so maybe there's some... Right, there's fence, there's tents? No. I'm just sort of... curious as to what I can... what happens when I activate that Ruin Guard, personally. All right, well, let's unlock this teleport, slash, um... Yeah, the dungeon. Uh-huh. Ah, I, I already know what this puzzle is. I just need to find, yeah, number three. You know what? Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Wow, this is so lucky. Uh, I won't hold you 
you back. Might actually have to look up online where that last little note is, so I don't waste as much time. What did I just unlock? Oh right, the uh, the fungus thing. What's the name of this item? Lost energy block. Give me a sec. Oh, why isn't my um? Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait is the thing, though, so... Bennett just has it wrong. All right, um... Here we go. Open up Chrome here. Oh, wow. Ancient lost... Power... Block... There's 19 of these things? Oh, geez. Well, I guess it's... Ha there's been time to actually... Let's go find some treasure. Get these uh, things found by this point. Somebody says 15. To load them into five ruin guards for the achievement. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Okay. Mm, or not. Okay, they're literally going to the first one. Okay, I'm just going to find the, the last one for this one. I'll do the rest off stream. If it's just for an achievement, I won't bother. Yeah, they're going to this campsite over here. Yep, got that. And then... Holy fucking shit. Okay. So we found the first two... here... and then, like... Uh, here or here? The last one is down here. Like, way far away from where we found the first two. I'll just keep this video up for later. Or I'll leave it a like so I can actually go to mode that in my spare time. Okay. Okay, after this, we'll actually get back to the Archon quests. Because there's nothing left for me to do in this event aside from grindy stuff. So it's off this cliff and under a tree. I think it's under this tree. Yeah? Okay. So now we'll go back up here and activate the Ruin Guard just to see what happens. And then you can imagine me doing that four more times after finding random lost energy block locations. But that's not going to be something I do on stream. If there's something fun or important story-wise... Uh, I get from it, then I'll, you know, let you know what happens, but... Okay, there he is. Oh, and there's a thing over there, too. Son of a bitch. Ooh, piece of candy. And so now we have three of these. Load it up! Hmm? Records, code Fehu. Two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, two. That's it! Um, okay, so maybe I'll find all of them off stream, and then right before loading it into the last Ruin Guard, I'll do that on stream or something. Gather. Illusion 
Oh, you're tough, huh? Okay. I'm going in. Let's light it up. I will have order. Fallen leaves adorn my night. The wind knows me. Inazuma shines eternal. Shine down. I'm tough enough to do a whole burst survival. But a momentary destruction. Chaos bolt. Oh, I guess that came from the ruined Drake. Did I not get one of those four? Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, Archon Quest. Archon Quest. Look at all the things we have. These four are daily quests. Uh, this is the very long world quest with no voice acting. These are timed events. And this is an Archon quest. Hmm. Maybe I should do the events before I do the Archon quest. I mean, there's only 10 days left on these things. I don't know if my computer's going to break again, so it might be good to get them out of the way. Right, this has been bugging me. Let's just do this. Let's try out Ganyu. And get free rewards for doing it. I guess this also gives you a chance to see her on stream, because I don't have her as a character. And I've already thrown the one random wish at her. I'm not, um... I'm not actually pulling for her. Probably going to be pulling for... Kusanali or Nahida, I, whatever she's going to be known as, as a character in the game. Yeah, her, yeah, her aim shots charge twice. Let's do that. Cool it. And have like a massive AOE. Just like 28,000 damage. It's so, like, kind of lackluster, though. It, it, it does the damage, but it doesn't have that oomph. That's her. She just does tons of fucking damage. But I think you need to, like, increase her uh, constellation in order for that second charge to actually do more. Anyway, let's try the, um... This is long overdue. Also fighting um slimes isn't really giving you any sort of indication. Like, obviously, ice is going to do well against fire and water and electro slimes. It's, it's obviously going to freeze the water and it's going to do major damage to fire and uh, electro. So, I don't know. It, it does a ton of damage. I've seen people use them and that's what it boils down to. You just aim down, charge twice, release, it hits, it does a burst damage. And it does a bunch. There's no question. But is that the gameplay you want? Is the other question. Because also you have to slow down and like do those shots. Instead of... Do I like having all these numbers come up. I like throwing down fire, doing electro, and then swirling it all together. And then having a geo shield the entire time so I don't take any damage. But I will not say that Ganyu's not good, because she's amazing. If you get her, she'll carry your team. Just with the damage. Unless you're going against a nice creature, uh, which in that case you're going to be in trouble. 
Same thing with Raiden Shogun and Electro. Like, her burst is where all the damage is. Um. Yeah, let's try out Dory. She's a new character who's being boosted at the moment. Uh, but I'm, again, I'm not pulling during this banner, so I'm not gonna, probably not going to get her until she's boosted again for somebody I am pulling for. Or she'll just pop up randomly because every four star gets added to the, the major pool. The troubleshooter shots from Dory's elemental skill will create two homing after sales surface rounds upon hitting opponents. Elemental burst summons a genie. That can connect to a nearby character, constantly regenerating their HP and elemental energy. Right, right, right. Additional elemental orbs trapped in the yeah, yeah. So she's a support character. Yeah. Let's see here. Here's that. Charge the attacks. So she did not attack, she has the slime attack. Come a little closer. Nice and spicy. Speaking of spicy. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. Did not disappoint. Let's spark things up. So now I got the lamp in between. I just put characters or enemies in between me and the lamp. <laughs> Alright, she's okay. I, I don't think she'll be high up in the tier list or anything like that, but I think she'll be a decent... Because apparently that little... Burst actually heals when you're, you know, doing damage, so... Similar to Kuki, uh, she'll be able to heal the party. Not as good as Bennett, in terms of that, though. And Bennett also... His burst, like, heals several thousand damage, like, a second. Like, he'll... Like, 7,000 heals, 7,000 heals, 7,000 heals. Like, okay, you're pretty much fully healed at this point. And then also it ups your attack by like 50%. It's like a, a huge attack buff and also heals you. They really need to not nerf him, but make characters as good as him. So that at least you have a choice. Because Bennett's going to be on almost everybody's team if they're wanting to do well. What's going on? Why can't I get to the wheel? Something was wrong there for a sec. Okay, get that. Uh, Kokomi, I don't know if I tried her on, out on stream before. She's a healer. Uh, I've seen her do some crazy water damage. I wouldn't say she's a damage dealer. I think she's mostly built for support, but people I've seen people build her uh, crazy. Storage B. She uses a burst, she deals hydro damage. Temporarily increases damage dealt by our normal and charged attacks. Her elemental burst can also enhance the elemental skill. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Blitz. Freeze. Hold the line. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Dodge this! Eat this! Surrendering. Oh, I'm so sorry. Torrent, bring refuge! Yeah. Of course she did, yeah. There's all those elements going off at the same time. But, uh, yeah, I think she's probably one of the better healers in the game.
she she wouldn't fit my team build. My team build's a very I've been sort of like fine tuning it over the past well since I started playing the game. And I've got it at a point where the only thing I can really do to improve it is get a constellation in Zhongli and two constellations into Raiden Shogun and find a replacement for Bennett. Kaza is pretty set. I could get a constellation into him so that his burst refreshes his elemental skill. So I could do skill, burst, skill. Um, so it's just more constellations for the characters I have and a replacement for Bennett. And why do I want to replace Bennett? I don't know. There's something about um, having a four star that seems weird. The How good he is, he should not be a four star. It's weird. He's possibly the best support character in the entire game. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do these last things. But every Archon has been amazing, so I, I don't doubt that the Dendro Archon is going to be bad. Or good, I mean. She's going to she's gonna be great. Like, obviously. Raiden's great. Zhongli uh, is great. And Venti is good, too. If I didn't have Kazuha, I would get Venti. If Kazuha didn't exist... Venti would be on the team. You're in for a little shot. Stand clear. And honestly, if neither of them existed, so then so Sucrose so. would be on the team. Because she's a... Uh... Oh. Because she's a really good um, animal character. She boosts elemental... Uh, mastery really well. So well that her elemental mastery boosting and Kazuha's elemental mastery boosting do not stack. It's almost like they couldn't change Bennett once they realized how good he is. Yeah. I think nerfing a character is, is a bad idea, for sure. I would not want them to nerf Bennett, for sure. Uh, but they, they've definitely buffed characters in the past. Uh, like Zhang Li, when he came out, he was trash. Uh, whenever he was... He does his shield charge thing. I guess I'll show you. Once it loads, Jesus... Sumeru load times have been pretty bad lately. Okay, so this thing where he goes like this and he gets the shield um, that used to be interrupted by enemy attacks. Like, people would be able to knock him out of that while he was doing it. Now he is like super armor and can't be interrupted while he's summoning a shield. He still gets hurt, but he doesn't actually like get knocked out and, like, you know, blown back like Bennett's... like this. That doesn't happen to Zhongli while he's doing his fucking thing. So they super burst, like, boosted that. They also boosted, like, everything scales off of HP. And when it didn't used to. He became, like, one of the worst characters to one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, that sounds bad. Like, I, I had no knowledge that he was that bad at some point. I, I remember Zhongli got released and I wasn't playing Genshin at the time. And people were, you know, making penises. They put, like, two of the Traveler's, like, round rocks down and they put Zhongli's pillar in the middle. And they're like, haha, penis joke. And I was like, okay, people are having fun with this new character, I guess. Um, but nobody was talking about how shitty he was compared to, like, Venti. Dodge this. Don't get frostbite. Xing Cho, his burst is the reason people use him. Because of this. 
shoots like water swords out when you're attacking. It's just extra elemental damage popping out for a while too. Oh, so sorry. Body in the brain outlines your face. Rain cutter. Uh, Shinkcho's not bad, um, but he is definitely only a, like a sub DPS. Summon, summon water swords as somebody else is attacking. He's not supposed to be the attacker. Freeze. But I've seen him on. Uh, I don't want to call them competitive teams, but basically teams of uh, characters that can sort of like blow through the spiral abyss challenges. They'll have him, Bennett, and then two other characters, and that sort of like is up in the air. Maybe Zhang Ling for her little spiral uh, fire thing, just to create more elemental reactions. I don't know, some of these characters are very niche, but then some of them have, like, non-stop utility no matter what team you have. And Bennett's one of them, because he's a healer slash attack buff guy. And it's like, once you get him, you, you don't really have an excuse not to use him. You just sort of have to level him up properly. Okay, camera wasn't working, and I couldn't get to this menu. That's the... So coming back from this test run and loading into this region... ...has given me some issues. I wonder if it's the region, or the test run, or just this build of the game in general. Okay. So, we were going to try out these uh, timed events, these quests that have 10 days left. I have no idea what these are. Oh wait, we're gonna find the tigers too. I guess we'll find- maybe we'll find some tigers on the way. I don't know where they are. So maybe we'll find some tigers during this quest and I can take some pictures of them. Same thing for the, uh... The Sumpter Beasts. Excuse me. Ah, my academic career! No voice acting. Uh, my academic career has been sunk before it could even start. A scholar? Why bother being a scholar? If I had learned to draw in the academia and become an illustrator, I would have ended up here. <laughs> you know, when we first heard that there was an academia researcher in Port Ormos who groans all day, Paimon thought it was some kind of strange tale. But hey, guess he's real. Hey, groaning academia researcher! What? Groaning academia researcher? Are you talking about me? Uh, if you'd met me in the past, I would debate the veracity of such a slanderous title. But now, forget it. Go back to where you came from, little one. Don't disturb a young man mired adrift without a future. People like me should just shrivel up like a silent mushroom in the dark corner of the forest. At least the Academia's resources wouldn't be wasted then. Might even be taken back there as some special mushroom sample to be dissected by some real scholar. Jami, the mushroom sample. Maybe Jamie? Jami? Wouldn't it be funny if that's how I wound up being remembered in his by history? Jami! Oh, so that's your name. Yeah, what about it, little one? The name's Paimon, not little one. And I'm Chrono. Chrono and Paimon. Right, noted. So how may I help you? We just heard about the rumors of groaning academia researcher in Port Ormos and wanted to know what was going on. What's going on, you say? Well, have you heard of this thing that happens for us researchers called publishing our research? Publishing independent research is how we prove that we are capable, self-sufficient scholars. That's how we graduate from under our mentor's tutelage and enter the academic world, where we can then gain renown. That way we can travel to places in Tibet in the name of collecting research material, with research grants sufficient to cover even food and drink. Fine food and drink, even. Fine food and drink, huh? Say, you wouldn't mind elaborating on that, would you? Hmm. Looks like he has some ulterior motives. Uh, I was just saying, 
In truth, I dream of doing great things in the academic world. Good food, traveling, fame, things like that are just side benefits. I wouldn't reject them, of course, but... <coughs> Either way, we're getting off topic. Anyway, I'm stuck at this publish your research part. The courses at Academia have a tight schedule already, and I have to get my thesis proposal passed in time. This music's going off. My proposals have been rejected twice. The edibleness of mushrooms on the back of shroom boars was the first one. I actually thought that one was pretty good. Well, it certainly sounds like a good subject. One that warrants a couple hundred experiments for sure. I know, right? But my mentor just said, is this even worth looking into? and refuse my request. Absolutely ridiculous. The second time I applied to research the ecological ecological environment and aquaculture of floating hydrofungi, but got rejected again by my mentor who called the topic too unambitious. Yeah. The deadline for submitting the thesis proposal was drawing near, and so I wrote up a very ambitious proposal in a fit of pique, you know, as a way of saying... You old man, how dare you call me unambitious? I didn't think that my mentor would let it pass or that it would get praise in the academia, but there was no way back from there. So my report became... Became what? A study of the defense deficiencies of biological structures in response to hostile stressors. Sorry, hostile stressor what again? Defense deficiencies? No, nope, Paima doesn't know what you're talking about. Doesn't sound delicious or interesting either. The research topic of your study should ideally be a bit obscure, but to put it in simple terms, creatures in combat will more or less reveal some weaknesses in their defenses. Some weak spots, which should have been well protected, will end up exposed when they make certain movements. And those are the weaknesses I'm collecting from my research. Hey! I'm doing one of these timed events? This is like this whining researcher at the docks. Oh, the blue door things. And you take potions while doing them? Like you have to concoct potions? Yeah, I remember an event like that where you had to like, sort of like, you pop certain buffs in during the battles. Okay. Still kind of hard to understand, but it sounds awesome. Well, being awesome doesn't help you fight monsters or take pictures of research materials. I'm just a fragile researcher. What was that? So there you go, we're talking about it right now. Yeah. The subject is way too dangerous for me. How am I supposed to finish this whole thing? And with an unfinished thesis, I won't be able to graduate. Fighting monsters? Ha! Whatever. Let's just do it. I might get heavily injured, but maybe my mentor might take pity on me and grant a pass to this poor student. Please don't do that! But my thesis proposal has already been submitted. There's no time to switch topics. What can I do? I was too impulsive for my own good. Some researcher I am. I should just feed myself to a rich Belen tiger. Wait, no, that might hurt. Maybe I should just drown myself in the river near Vimara village instead. The water's cool and clean there. Jesus. Whoa, poor guy. It's partially his fault for ending up like this, but still. Colonel, let's just help him, shall we? Well, now that you've said this much... Really? But it's a very dangerous job! No worries, we're pretty good at fighting monsters. Uh, thank you, thank you. Does this mean I can finish my thesis now? I'd even sell myself to you if I could help... If you can help me do that. Uh, you totally don't have to, and we don't want to buy you anyway. Sorry, apologies for my lack of composure. How about this then? Let's go to the testing ground up prepared. I'll probably do one of these and do the rest off stream. That's what this is sounding like. Oh yeah. The only difference is you don't use your own team. You have to use it. It's a pre-made team. Okay. Well at least it's balanced. This is taking a while to load. Jesus. Well, we're here. It took an, a year, but Paimon didn't realize that we had walked all this way here. There's no other way around, I fear. This is too far from Port Ormos. 
Well, this is about my test subject, after all. You know, my mentor wanted me to observe every living thing being into that. An impossible task, I tell you. And that's why I started by researching creatures from Sumeru and Leeway. By the way, please hold this. It's a special potion for my research that worked within the testing grounds. It's called the Phase Potion. And it was formulated by my seniors at Armurta. It's expensive and complicated to make, so I've only managed to make a few. What's this potion got to do with your experiment? Here's how it works. You will subjectively feel the time will slow down in a very extreme manner after taking the phase potion. It'll feel like one moment is eternal. This way you can do more detailed photography and observations. Wait a moment, couldn't you just do that yourself? I thought so too, but it's not that simple. As I said, you will subjectively feel time slowing down, but your body may not be able to keep up if you aren't agile enough. For example, if you quaff a phase potion as a spino crocodile pounces on you, but you aren't able, agile enough to dodge its lunging attack, then you'll see how its claws are ever so close to your face, yet your body just won't move out of the way. Why can't I move my body, you may think to yourself, but it will be of no use. The paws will still stay so close to you that you can you can see the dirty water and mudstains on it. The worst thing is that you couldn't dodge and you pause time as it's digging its claws into you. And you're just stuck in a moment of pain for, like, a year. Like Naruto. Like Itachi when he was, uh, torturing Kakashi. To make an anime reference. In this anime-style game. Yikes! So, don't underestimate your opponents just because you feel the time is moving slowly. Will do. The fate of my research is in your hands. Time manipulation. Picture taking. Defeating opponents in combat will grant phase tinctures that will accumulate up to a certain point where they can be used to enter time dilation mode. You can accumulate up to three uses of the phase potion at any one time. After you use the phase potion and enter time dilation mode, you can use your viewfinder to capture your opponent's weaknesses and use super sense skill. When you captured over eight such weaknesses, you can unleash buff super sense skill. Different opponents have a different number of weaknesses on them. Some opponents have golden critical weaknesses. The buffs you will get from spotting one critical weakness are equivalent to that which you will get from spotting two normal weaknesses. If you exit time dilation without spotting any weaknesses, you will not use any phase potions. Oh. That's that's actually a good tip. So, like, if you use it and you're like, oh, nothing's here, you can go back and it won't use it. Okay, so these are pre-built teams. Like a trial characters. Uh, this team's gonna be good. Uh, this team's gonna be good. This team's gonna be really good. And uh, this team will be okay. This team will be decent. This team will be okay. Don't know how I feel about this team. Yeah, most of these teams look like they're going to be okay. Spinal Crocodile, that's like I saw that and I was like, that's the one she was talking about. She was talking about the Spinosaurus Crocodile. I got some nice pictures of them. For this event. Apparently, Kale's story leads into a secondary picture-taking event. Which I didn't realize. So it's a good thing that I didn't like put off going and getting her. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that too. But like, yeah. it gives you a camera that you didn't have before. Right. While all the battle stuff seems to be retroactive, it seems. Because like, I, I fought the Electro Whopper Flower once, and all the things were retroactively given to me. The only thing I didn't have was letting the raptor activate with electro energy. Oh, yeah. I had to like intentionally let it do that. Yeah. And then it does a big old thing which doesn't really do much and then it just like flops on the ground and you can kill it pretty easy. You have to kill it while it's on the ground though. Cleese getting impatient. Let's let's do this. Okay. So I, we'll do this. Is that good enough? 
Oh, it just kills them. Okay. Enemy elite, okay. Bonk. That's close enough. Time to go to Bonk. Jesus, it does a hundred and eighty nine thousand dendro damage. She's a... She's crazy! Damn, these bursts are charging fast, too. I have a feeling these are being buffed by the uh, pictures. Easy. Crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to hearing Klee's voice in battle. So that seems to be it. Score 42-26. Okay. What does that mean? I didn't get a medal for it, so I don't know exactly how well I did. Load times are ridiculous. Oh my god. You want to load his fucking... What's going on? You know, load everything in. Yeah, massive fucking load. 
I don't know if it's just like loading into Sumeru is the problem or what? I've had problems because I did the test run for the characters and each time I loaded back in, I couldn't move my camera for a sec. I could move around, but I couldn't move my camera and I also couldn't open up the uh, the radial menu. So that's what th this event seems to be. Um, what's the spot 30 weaknesses? Seven and one go, 1500. That's it? Oh geez, this is gonna be really easy. But I'm not gonna do all of them on stream. Because that's that's what that is. Let's see what the other Ozmet. quest is. Ozmet is wide. Wine tastes it's the same, the same as, as mine. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. The cliffside weirdo and a risky study. You hear that the strange person is wandering in the mountain east of Samaria City. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. Okay. Let's just tell. Let's just glide from here or something. Let's see what the load time on this is. Thirteen seconds. I want to actually test something. Hang on. Let's go to Monstat. Completely different region. I don't remember the load times being this bad. It could be lack of RAM. That That's possible. Yeah. Let me try something else, though. Because I just loaded not too far away from where I was in Sumeru. It took about 13 seconds. Let's do about the same distance in Mondstadt and see what it looks like. Six seconds. Just a... Just Just to, to play devil's advocate, right? So let's go here and then teleport here and see how long it takes. So let's, this is going to be a massive load because it's a new region. Interesting. Loading back into Sumeru is taking much longer than loading from Sumeru to Mondstadt. Like, it's taking 50% longer. Okay. Osmanth so now we're in Sumeru. Let's teleport right over here. Same distance. About, maybe shorter. Same distance. Let's see if it takes longer than six seconds. No? If not, it was a little shorter. It's also within eye shot. But loading into Sameru took longer than loading into Mondstadt from across the map. Like, going here was a shorter load than going from there to here. Okay. Because usually when you're loading, or when you're teleporting to a thing within eye shot, it's like two to three seconds. That's what I'm used to. Okay. So it could be the new region, it could be the new update, it could be the lack of a RAM stick. Which I'm working on. Um, I'm going to give it a day or two to see if my computer fucking blue screens again. And if it doesn't, I'll know that the RAM stick is the only problem... 
in which case I will send back the current ones, because only one is broken, but I'm going to send them both back and just get a different brand entirely. I think... What's the brand of these? Like, G-Skill... Uh, something or other. I'm just going to go Corsair instead. <laughs> it's finally complete. The next step, demonstration. I will prove to all of them that this is the greatest of alchemical potions. What is this person giggling by a cliff and talking to herself for? Geez, she gives Paimon the creeps. Well, let's keep our distance, shall we? What if she's at the end of her rope? We probably need to stop her from acting impulsively. Hey, hey, you don't have to worry so much about random strangers, you know. Huh? When did you get here? Talking bad behind someone's... Behind someone else's back is rude, you know. I, Hajanad, am S Bantamad, Star of Tomorrow. Just you wait. When I become a famous researcher, I'll dedicate the trash talk paper specially t for you. <laughs> she's gonna publish a paper that's just f talking shit about us? Wow, she's a real meanie. Her name sounds so difficult to say. To the point where we won't even voice act it. Wait, could this little fellow be the white high intelligence floating in assistive unit? From those rumors. White, high intelligence, floating assistive unit. One of those doesn't fit. What kinds of rumors were those? Pilot's never heard of that nickname. Anyway, a blonde haired outlander with a f white, high intelligence, floating assistive unit. Today is my lucky day. Ahem. <clears throat> Listen, I can make fighters stronger, so let's make a deal, alright? This sounds familiar. I think I've heard this one before. Of course, there are tons of alchemists around Tavat, just like me, and we strive to explore the full potential of alchemy. Supporting battles is one of the most essential services alchemy has to offer. If we can exercise the full potential of our potions, we can even rewrite the rules of battle. I believe you must have run into other alchemists studying potions during your travels. Paimon is subhuman. <laughs> But compared to me, most of them are dabblers, with only a few of them having made any progress. I recall that a Mondstadt alchemist once published a research paper called Combat Environmental Changes Made by the Spread of Aerialized Liquid Potions. Oh, the naivete. It doesn't matter if, you're ad if you add volatizing elements to the solution, your potion will still fail in spreading speed and density. Whew, look at her go. Seems like someone's trying to convince us that she's the best at what she does. And what she does isn't very pretty. So what about this deal of yours? Yeah, so, Miss Hajanad, you have the strongest potions around, do you? Are you gonna sell us? Are you gonna sell them to us at discount? Sorry. Sorry, they're too strong for you. Good question. I was just about to show you my newest invention. I've compressed two types of highly concentrated potions into crystallized flakes that will be divided into equal pieces. Then I place them into sealed and high-pressure environment using an alchemy device. When you need to use the potion, you just ignite the small explosives inside the device. This way, parts of the two flakes will be instantly vaporized and sufficiently mixed together. Give me your strongest potions. You, you can't have my strongest potions. The pressure caused by the explosion will hush the po push the potion vapor out of the device and spread it around evenly across a vast area. Thus providing the support in battle. I call this process the remelting effect. The device... The remelting device... What? I call this process the remelting effect. The device... The remelt... The, the device... The remelting device... And the potion remelting tablets. Remelting? An explosion? The air will be filled with a refreshing fragrance after the powerful explosion. And the one inhaling it will experience a drastic increase in power. What do you think? Very tempting, right? Don't you want to try it? Now all you need to do is watch out for the effects of the potion during battle and help me record any minor performance issues that crop up. Of course, I won't take your help for granted. You'll be well paid for your trouble. So you just see us as test subjects, huh? Also, this sounds super dangerous. We're definitely out. We'll consider the offer if you promise 100,000% compensation if something goes wrong. Not a problem. I've done the necessary experiments many times, so I can guarantee it's safe. My potions would... Kill an adept eye. No hesitation at all? It's not as if we're lacking more or anything. 
I don't need alchemy to be stronger. Hmm, that's true. For someone who has had such a fantastic tales published about them, you must be beyond wealthy. Well then, pretty please? <laughs> I sincerely apologize for treating you badly earlier, and for trying to buy you over with Mora. I will owe you the world if you help me complete the experiments. When I become a famous researcher, I will never forget what you've done for me. Uh, this drastic attitude change and that promise... That's opportunism for you. Come to think of it, I'm the one who's seeking you for your help, so I should have been more proper when asking for your help. I know that this doesn't look good on my side, but you will only meet more people who are just like me in the future. If nothing else, I give you my word and promise you more, Others might treat you as free labor. All things considered, our encounter was a rather realistic one, eh? Hmm, it's kind of rude to assume people would just take advantage of us. Still, she does have a point. Wavering, are we, Paimon? Come on, she begged us and everything. Also, Paimon's kind of curious as to how powerful her potions might be. Plus, Paimon doesn't think she has bad intentions. Maybe it's just her eagerness toward her studies that made her a bit weird. Maybe she'll be a bit nicer once her research is complete. Oh, are you discussing how to test the device? There's a domain nearby, actually. According to feedback from other adventurers, it's suitable for the combat test we wish to conduct. I haven't said yes yet, you know. I've entrusted my fate to you two, so please help me. Well, this one can't be harder than a regular adventure commission, so let's just go and test out this device in that domain, shall we? Alright, it's a deal then. I will wait for good news from you here. Okay. I'm sure she'll be super humble by the time we finish the other things. You must complete three consecutive challenge rounds during the tablet analytics stages. Each challenge round requires you to defeat opponents that will continuously appear within a time limit to accrue score. Your party setup can be changed between rounds to deal with different types of opponents. When the challenge ends, you will obtain test-related emblems based on your score. Remelting device can be used every 15 seconds within the challenge to gain one or more potential remelting effects. Activating remelting effects will give more powerful combat buffs for a limited time. Each combat route will be... Use it at suitable timings to make combat quicker and more efficient. Defeating opponents during the challenge can shorten the cooldown. Cannot be further decreased once it falls below 5 seconds. So you have to waste at least 5 seconds. Oh, and you teleported. Alright, in we go. Oh, and this isn't even fully unlocked. Well, we'll just do the first one then. And then uh, I'll do the rest off stream. Remelting effects. Chill water concoction. Gains 100 cryo bonus. Hydro damage bonus. Cryo bonus. Current active character causes opponents to become frozen. Opponents will have their defense decreased. Characters deal 50% more damage to frozen opponents. Hydro and Pyro. Pyro and Cryo. Okay. Party set up. Okay, we got... Okay. All right. Good. Let's do this. That. This and... Hmm. This and that. Okay. Let's start it up. At least they give us characters that actually go along with the potions. Was it going to be left bumper and X to activate it most likely? Okay. 
Yep, left from over an X. Okay. Now that. No, my sword. Born of ice and frost. Let me weave you a burst. Order guide you. As one with wind and cloud. Blaze over. Excuse me? Ring cutter. Order guide you. One with nature. Shut Next round. Okay, so now Hydro and Pyro. Okay, well, I got Mona. Um, Pyro, I also have Hu Tao. Bennett and Chongli. Actually, I'm going to go this, that, this, and that. So we're just going to replace Raiden with Mona, and the Hydro damage bonus should be good. I think this is a new event. Teamwork is teamwork. I will have order. Solidify! Clouds hide. The birds call. The wind knows me. Fate is upon you. Yeah. Everybody stand back! This is order. Stabilize. As one with wind and cloud. I'm not even I'm not getting feedback for when I use the potions. So I'm like confused at if I'm actually using them. I haven't looked down. I yeah, just use one. Did you even tell I use it? Adorn my night. The wind knows me. Written in the stars. All right, this is going a little more smooth than the last one, I think. Solidify. Everybody, stand back. As one with wind and cloud. Shadows of fate. Decided by destiny. Order guide you. One with nature. Teamwork is dream work. Let me scry. Clouds high. The birds call. Oh, wrong. Let's One. Light it up. Fate is upon you. Into the wind. This is order. Stabilize. I'm going in. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. The wind knows me. Delve into destiny. Decided by destiny. Order guide you. Gather. Into the wind. Teamwork is dreamwork. Let as one with wind and cloud. 
Okay. Uh, now Pyro and Frost. Kazooie, Ganyu, Bennett, and Zhongli. See, Bennett combined with Kazuha just does the Pyro. I don't need to have a Pyro-focused character. Ganyu's burst might be really good for the cryo reactions. Yeah. When Electro comes up, I'm just going to have my main party. Oh, my burst is still going off. Wow. In between rounds. This is order. Solidify. I'm going in. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. The wind knows me. All hail. Things you're dying too quick. Who's in the party right now? Gather. Clouds high. The birds call. The wind knows me. Come on. Let's light it up. No touching. This is order. I'm going in. Huh? Stabilize. As one with wind and cloud. That one. I guess I got a gold medal. 9,180 for the score. What? Did I do good? Did I do good? I don't know. I don't know if there's a platinum medal. I smell shrimp. I'm sorry. No, I do. It smell it smells like the fish aisle. <laughs> loading back from these fucking areas, like loading back into Sumeru from a different area seems to take a long time. So I think that might be the thing, because like when I go to those domains to try out a character or go to Mondstadt or do this thing. Loading back to Sumeru is taking forever. Yeah, I don't think I have that much loading problem either, so it might be around. Well, I still have like a... I have 8 gigabytes of RAM in there. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad for gaming, but... It's specifically Sumeru. Alright, well... Uh, okay, so I only needed to get 4,000, and I got 9,000? Yeah, 9,180. Okay, well, I already like this event better than the other ones that are similar to it, because you can switch in between rounds, and they give you relevant characters to the, uh, the bonuses you get. They give you a good chance to figure out how Ganyu plays. Um... Seeing how she does play in actual combat, I wasn't using her um, her normal attack, even though that's like her main focus of damage. It's supposed to like you're supposed to like do other shit and then just focus on doing her charged attacks like 
six or seven times before going back and doing other things. But the way I have my party set up, she was just allowed to do her skill and then her burst and then go away. So I'll do the rest of these off stream in, I guess, five days. Um, same with these uh, attack trials with the, where you're taking pictures of them. Okay. So now that all that's left is this gigantic um, world quest with no voice acting and the Archon quest, which we're just going to jump to for, for a little bit. We're going to do that for a little bit. But I got to a lot of stuff on this stream as far as like the current event stuff. We didn't see any tigers. I need to find tigers for the, uh, the picture thing. And the PC hasn't uh, crashed in the middle of all this, so that's a plus. Oh, I tried um, Bluetooth wireless control off stream. And it come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. Is there supposed to be music in the background? Or any sort of noise? So yeah, I tried Bluetooth, uh, and my controller, I think, fucking sucks with Bluetooth. Um, it, it disconnects constantly, even after updating the internal controller software to the most recent update. And even when it is connected, the delay is massive. It's a massive delay. You press a button and almost a full second later it does what it... So I can, I'm not playing wireless with this controller for PC games, ever. I'd have to test what, how well it... Uh, interacts with uh, mobile on a game that's actually compatible with it, but yeah, it's a good controller, but uh, yeah, I've read up reviews and apparently the Bluetooth wireless uh, compatibility sucks ass. It's not good. It should have music. Well, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! Oh, guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because of what Thea told us earlier, but... Baiman can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. It's, it's a shame that this game can't handle more than ten people in one place or something, because this, this it looks like a dead, empty street, aside from that dude in the background. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that... We don't have much else to go on. I think the mu yeah, the music must be fucking glitched. Yeah. Hmm. Osman told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Right, we should figure out that before doing anything else. Figuring that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation here. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. I'm going to leave the city and come back. This isn't leaving the city. This is like still technically. Let me teleport literally out of the city. You know what? 
Maybe because I teleported directly into the city. Any sound? Any any music? Is that a rumor? Why are you falling off? I might need to restart the game to get the music back. Why didn't you climb? Because you had a stamina? Just in time. Okay. Take them. I have no need. Yeah, I might restart the game. I'm not gonna play without music. There's music here. Yeah, I think I just did something weird. Like, I had already gotten that teleport off stream just as a random teleport to go to. And I guess since the quest was literally on top of that teleport, it the quest cutscene started before I was even fully loaded in and maybe it fucked with the the game audio I mean it shouldn't have done that I mean that's still a glitch but I don't think it's a it's not like I was intentionally breaking the game oh right loading, loading for Sumeru I guess the real test of whether or not this is my RAM or not is when I get the new RAM in. And like, will these load times increase or like or decrease? This is also the initial load. This usually takes a while regardless. Well, immediate music, so that's something. Oh, I can't um, can't move my camera or open the wheel. Now I can. Huh. Before we do anything, I have one last thing I want to try. To see if this is a Sumeru problem or if it's a um, Monstap or a, or a Ram problem. So I'm going to go to Mondstadt. I'm going to go try out one of the characters and then load back in and see if my camera slash wheel gets locked up. It's the best way to find out. I don't even need to like do the challenge. I just need to back out of it and load back into Mondstadt. Come on. Okay. Okay, so immediately be able to do this. Okay, so this. No. Not that. Test run. Yeah, we'll. Trigon, you back out almost immediately and see if my camera gets locked up.
Because it could be the update in general. Leave domain. Leave domain. It's weird. Okay, you're gonna hear me clicking the button and move the stick as soon as I get in there. Basically immediate. Uh, where was this quest? Oh, it wasn't giving me a quest marker, so... I'm going to try the, um, you know, camera and doing loading in here. But then I'm going to do one more thing, and that's test with Ganyu and jump back in and see if it's in immediate or if it's, like, full seconds. Because I think this may be a Sumeru problem. They might even compensate us with gems. Okay, immediate load in, that's fine. Okay. Test run, gone you, try. And then we'll immediately quit. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll quit immediately. Okay, leave domain, leave domain. Is doing this thing again, so it's at least consistent. I'm just really curious. Uh, I'd like to know. Sumeru. It's a Sumeru problem. Back to back. That that that's I'm doing free bug testing right now. That is a Sumeru glitch. Anyway, let's uh, continue the quest. Where's the music? What the fuck? Are we- are you sure that there's music in this section of the city? Um, I know for This is just around the corner. This teleport should not take long. Come on. We definitely heard music earlier because there was a dude down here on the docks who we talked to and the music was getting loud. Oh no, did I break the music again? Does that teleport break music? Uh oh. Hmm.
Well, uh, I think what this is going to boil down to is uh, I'm going to test and see if we still have music. And if we don't... Then I'm going to reload the game and basically run into Sumeru City, or Port Ormo, sorry, from that little pathway there, and see if the music works, and then I'm going to use the teleporter in that city to see if it turns off again. So first, got to load it again, because this is actually a bug. Man, Sumeru's got some bugs! This is, I've never had this many issues before. This has been out for three weeks, also. At the very least. Hopefully 3.1 uh, fixes this. Stream derail times 10. This is now a Q&A stream. Basically, uh, yeah, we're done with story content. It's get, It was getting kind of late 20 minutes ago. I was going like, yeah, maybe we can just progress it a little more, but now that we're dealing with uh, bugs, uh, that's, that's where I'm going to end the stream. And we'll come back to it uh, tomorrow or the next day. I don't know, I'm actually going to be working tomorrow. Um... Because the CarPlay still hasn't figured out what the problem is. It's too intermittent for them to figure out what the problem is, they said. And so my basic, basically I'm just going to be driving it around until it becomes uh, less intermittent. Or it magically goes away. Or it breaks down my car. One of those three options. But tomorrow I'm going to try and uh, go to work and uh, hopefully my car doesn't completely shit the bed. What is this? Only menu sound effects are working right now. Because the little flying dude and these little swips and swipes, they're also sound effects. Wait a minute, is that? Did I hear a slight? I feel like I'm hearing a very, very, very muted. Huh? Yeah, shine down, but it's not even showing up on the capture card. It's it's not coming through the stream is what I'm saying like oh, okay. I'm hearing vi very very muted sound effects. Maybe I should turn it like all the way down and all the way up. Fuck sake. Because maybe that's what's happened to the music as well.
there's no escape. Like, I can hear her very slightly. But it's not coming up in the capture. Weird. Okay. Okay. It's... it's the game is bugged. It's not me. I'm not breaking it. I just loaded into the game. In Sumeru. So, that's the end of the stream. Um, I mean... I mean, hopefully this will be fixed next time I play it. I need. I still need to get a picture of one of these dudes eating. I feel like there's probably a very specific few spawns where they're eating. But like if I hit them and then run away... And the Sumter Beast Rand. In your menu for the event, you can have game pinpoint a spawning area. It usually has the exact ones you need. What did you mean? Uh-huh. Oh, the event menu. Oh, like it actually tells you where they're located? Item details, take pictures. Oh, you have to click take pictures. And then I think that's it, yeah. Oh, so it actually leads you to what you're missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are specific spawns then. Yeah. Every other one, I have not been doing that. Well, that means I can find the tigers that way. I am going to stop the stream, though. I, I don't know what happened with the game, but it broke. <laughs> Uh, broken game, broken game. Anyway, thanks for coming. Um, hopefully more of this soon. Uh, if my computer doesn't crash by the time I get home from work tomorrow, um, I will order the new sticks of RAM. And then those should show up within a week after that. Then I'll put them in here. Hopefully the computer works and then I'll send the old ones back. But once I get the new ones in, I, I should be at, back up to normal. But uh, thanks for coming, Leaps. Hope you had fun. Bye-bye.